Hey guys, I'm Greg. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's go take a look in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. So it's like a wine bottle that's so big. As a matter of fact, it even has the indentation in the bottle like a wine bottle. So I would say this is a wine bottle with a beer in it. <laughs> this is uh, McKellar's Santa's Little Helper 2010. This is fresh for this season. We know this is a fresh beer. It's 2010. This comes in at 10.9% ABV. So this is very, very strong. Break this at home. This is from the McKellar Brewery out of Denmark. This is a Belgian strong dark ale coming in at 10.9%. Be careful. It's a limited edition. Every, every winter they do this. Uh, uh, last year was the same thing with 29, 2009 and, uh, and so forth back. And next year it probably will be 2011. So they do it once a year. So if you see it, pick it up now because it won't be around long if it's not gone already. I've had this probably about three weeks now. Uh, the food pairing for this would seem to be barbecue cheese, it would be sharp blue cheddar, uh, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, uh, Limburger even. So uh, it's, it's pretty stout with the ABV, so you can put the strong cheeses with it. The meat would be beef and grilled meat. In the glassware, they say you could use a snipper, tulip glass, oversized wine glass, chalice. I got the double glass here because I like that. For this type of beer, uh, the beer can be cellared for extended cellaring. I mean, keep cellared for extended cellarings uh, at 10.9 percent. It's a uh, it'll keep for a while. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably pause this to try to not fight with this bowl. The last time I tried to get this bowl of stuff off, it took me. Well, maybe this might might be too bad. The last one was no, this is coming off good. The last one was just. Now that's the way it should come off, just like that. Not in little teeny bitty pieces like the last one did. So, let's see what we got here. I'm going to set this down. Get the cap off of it. Got the little cage. Very nice. There's a cork. Well, I can't get a hold of it. There it comes. Look at the smoke. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Let's get it in the glass. It's rising to the top. It's about right there now. Look at that. Wow, that looks nice. Good finger ahead there. Very pretty in the glass. Uh, I'm not getting any light at all through the glass. Very dark beer. Very, very dark, strong ale there. Very, very nice. Let's get a nose on it. A little bit of alcohol smell there at 10.9%. I can smell the alcohol. I get some, uh, some some dark sweet fruits, uh, maybe just a little bit of cloves. Yeah, some dark malts, some rich caramel malts. Uh, smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. Let's taste it. That's a nice sweet beer. Wow. Let me 
it's like uh, dates and, and right that's very complex that's got a lot going on there wow that is so good you cannot tell that is 10.9 percent alcohol this drinks like a 8% beer. Very, very nice. I've got a barley wine down there that I brewed December of 09. So it's over a year old. And it's 10.5%. So it's a little less than that. And it's way stronger than that beer. That's very pleasant. This is fresh out of the fridge. It's about 40 degrees. This is a big bottle. So I'm going to share this with the other half in there. And we're going to sip on it. And I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grade, but it's looking really good for this. I've had a couple of McKellar beers and I've not been disappointed with any of them so far. So they're a, they're a class act and uh, this one seems to be right along with that. So stick around, I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grade. All right guys, thanks for sticking around. I've got a little bit left in the glass here. I've been sipping this probably almost 45 minutes, maybe an hour now. It's definitely room temperature. Oh, this is an exceptional beer. It is very, very, very good. Very complex beer. It's got, it's got just enough sweet malt and hot bitterness to balance it out. So, uh, it's it's an exceptional beer. It's an above average beer. That being said, all the all everything that I said earlier, the uh, the dark fruits, uh, the cloves, uh, the spices. It's just it's just a it's just a a perfect blend of everything together. McKellar has got it going on. Uh, I've not had a bad one from them yet. So with that being said, we'll do the final chug here. Wow, 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 wow! This beer is a little pricey. Uh, it's it's a little on the more, more expensive side, but it's it's 750 milliliters. This is a wine size bottle, so it's a it's a lot of beer in this. So it's excellent. It's excellent. Like I stated on the the last beer review, uh, I've had some subs ask me, uh, you know, what about the beer rating? Originally, it was doing the the one to 100, and I went to one to 10, and they're still asking me, uh, well, what's the seven mean, and what's the five mean? So. Uh, I'm going to start printing this, uh, or putting this with the uh, the reviews from here on out to, uh, so everybody will know uh, what uh, 5 means and what a 7 means and all that. So a 10 is an A+. Plus. I don't have any 10s yet, but I've had some 9s and 9, some A's and A, and an A minuses. So uh, uh, 10 is an A+, plus, a 9 is an A, an 8 is an A-, minus, 7 is a B+, plus, 6 is a B, 5 is a B-, minus. Four is a C, three is a D, two is an F, and one is undrinkable, and we're going to pour it down the damn drain more than likely. So, uh, haven't had any of those, but there, <laughs> there are probably some out there that's going to end up getting that. So, I try to steer away from those kind of beers. I mean, anything below a four, I'm really not interested in buying and, and sampling for y'all. So, I do a little homework, so uh, y'all will have to go through this uh, process of drinking bad beers. So, every now and then, we're going to get one that's not up to par, but we're going to try to minimize that if we can. So, Rake Beer has this beer at 98 overall and 94 in the style, and Beer Advocate has an A minus for this beer. So, I kind of agree with that. McKellar got it going on, so I'm going to give this beer an 8. It's an A minus in the scale. It's definitely an A beer. If you see this, pick it up. Uh, it's after Christmas now, so this beer not may not be available. Uh, it's a limited release, so if you've seen it and it's not there now, you missed it. you got to wait till next year. So, uh, that being said, guys, let me know what you think. If you've had it, you like it, don't like it, whatever, give me some comments back, and we'll see you on the next beer review.